Do you find yourself struggling with overthinking, overwhelm, and subconscious mental stress? Well, if the answer to that is a yes, then stick around and watch this video because I'm going to share with you three self-care tips to ease out your anxiety, to build a powerful mindset, enjoy your life to the fullest, and have a stress-proof lifestyle. So, I would urge you to stay and watch the video till the end because these all tools and strategies are easily applicable and they will give you tremendous results. And if you're here for the first time, then consider subscribing to the channel because the content on this channel is for human upliftment in creating a life that is purposeful, meaningful, and moreover, anxiety and stress-free. Now let's dive into the topic, which is the three self-care tips that you can start to apply right now and remove your stress and anxiety from your system. The first is building a me time strategy. Building a me time here means finding the time for yourself, having an appointment with yourself. Just like when you go for an appointment, you are so prepared, you have the agenda right, you have the outcomes realized before you go there, you're absolutely focused on the outcomes. You exactly know what you want to take out of this meeting. Similarly, when you are having this me time, this is a time with yourself for self-reflection, to build a connection with yourself, to get to know about yourself a little bit deeper, to question some of your old thoughts and beliefs that might be holding you back. This me time is not the time that you have with your family. It's not the time that you have with your kids. It's not the time that involves other people, actually. It's a time that involves you and yourself. And it definitely can include some of your creative pursuits, your hobby, or sports, or walking in the nature. But this is a time when you are quiet, when you are in flow, when you are in sync with your truest self, where new ideas are germinating, where some of the past blockages are coming in front of you in your awareness, where you are able to go into some of the darkness inside you that is very difficult to address at times because we just avoid the pain, right? We avoid the emotional distress and we pretend that everything is okay at the surface and we continue to engage with life outside of us. I urge you to go inward, go inward. It should not take you more than 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day to spend time with yourself. And if you're really not sure what to do with yourself in the beginning, maybe just write down some of the thoughts that are coming in your awareness. Maybe simply go for a walk. Maybe play a sport where you feel engaged, but there's subconscious release and decompressing that is happening. Maybe pursue a hobby, do some creative work that is also generating a sense of connection with yourself, with the space and time that you are in, and building the habit of being in touch with yourself rather than just always having people with you. So this me time, you can customize it, honestly, it really doesn't matter. But the point is that you gotta have the time for yourself, only for yourself, because you are here for yourself first, you're here for anybody else. The reason why we keep on accumulating stress and emotions that are not addressed uh, and are causing this limiting beliefs and, and emotional distress is because we never find the time to really look at them and find the solutions to overcome these mental blockages. So me time is necessary. And let me know in the comments here, what are you going to do with your me time? What type of activities can you do to enjoy this me time as well as decompress? Second is becoming mindful. Mindfulness is a very big topic, and obviously there's a lot that can be done in mindfulness. Simple strategy that I follow every day is creating the mindfulness with the meal, with the food that you're intaking every day. Could be a cup of coffee, could be a whole meal. Any time of the day when you want to sit down for your food or a beverage, you become mindful of that. The presence of that beverage in your hand, the presence of food in your hand, the texture, the smell, the look and feel. And when you're consuming it, absorbing it, texture on your tongue, the fragrance, the taste, the flavor, everything 
absorbing it, becoming mindful of it. You know, most of us are eating, but we're eating unconsciously, right? Some of us are watching television or interacting with other people. We can use our food as a tool of mindfulness to generate the mindfulness in the present moment of where you are, what is around you, and your connection with the moment in the present moment and with your food. And you can extend this mindfulness by bringing gratitude for the food, being thankful for the food, because a lot of people work together to have this meal on your table. There are companies, there are people, there are laborers, there are farmers, whole crate of people have been working on this to make sure that you receive it. And you should be grateful for that. The moment you create this sense of gratefulness, you automatically start to feel so blessed and so connected with the food. And this is going to ease out a lot of your background stresses because the moment you realize that this is the most important thing, right? Everything that I am thinking right now, which is causing me stress, is either a memory of the past or an imagination of the future. And none of that is true in this particular moment. So in this very moment, what is the truth is that I exist, this exists around me, and this food which I'm consuming is going to nourish me. This will help you decompress and relax in the moment and create this awareness, the consciousness that is present and eternal light which is stress-free anyways, because stress is always experienced in the mind. And mind has many reasons for creating the stress, from memory to the past trauma, to lingering thoughts and beliefs that are holding you back, or desires and clinginess and attachments. When you're in the present moment, nothing of that, all that exists. What exists is you and the present moment. So mindfulness is the tip number two practice that you should diligently do it won't take you more than 10 15 minutes the time that you really are spending with your food and the third very powerful self-care strategy is unwinding before you go to bed well we carry a lot of junk a lot of information throughout the day by participating in events of life and if we go with those memories and impressions in our sleep then we are just carrying a lot of baggage by not filtering out what is not needed. So unwinding is a practice of decompressing consciously before you hit the bed. And it is also important because your subconscious mind is responsible for the kind of life you're living. If you want to live a more peaceful, joyful presence, you need to train your mind to become that. And how do you do that is when you consciously build a timeline for decompression and for unwinding. And before going to bed, when you do it, it also allows you to sleep peacefully. Some of the tools that I use to unwind before I go to bed is lighting a candle, burning an incense, having the atmosphere that is relaxing and soothing, listen to some meditation or soothing music, writing down the journal, maybe sharing your thoughts on a piece of paper about the things that you did accomplish well today, the wins for the day, and what, what is something that you're expecting tomorrow to happen. The outcomes that you're looking to achieve and receive and connecting with the universal abundance because this universe is abundant all you need to do is to vibrate at a frequency that matches up with the frequency of what you need your unwinding will not only be beneficial to relax and deeply connect with yourself and be grateful for the present moment experience but also it will train your mind for resiliency to look for the positive, to reframe your thoughts to positive ones, and to build more powerful beliefs that can be super helpful in creating the life of your dreams, in building a purposeful living. And that's what we really ultimately want, right? So I hope these practices are doable and they won't take you longer than 20 minutes. It's just about reminding yourself that my self-care is my responsibility. No one else is coming for your refuge. No one else is going to come and help you ease out your tensions and pressures. It is you who can do it. So please do something about it. You have all the time in the world. The excuses that I don't have the time 
is a crap. You know that, right? You have all the time in the world. It's about consistency and building a discipline. So my encouragement is that do something at least for 15 minutes a day. If you can just commit for 15 minutes, it will eventually grow into something bigger and more profound overall. But 15 minutes, if you can give to yourself in me time, 15 minutes, if you can't put to unwind yourself and relax deeply, then what are we doing? What are we doing then in this life? We're just working to pay our bills and trying to just make more money so that we can do what? Because happiness is not based on the money in the bank. Happiness is a present moment connection. If you can be happy right now in this moment, you can never be happy in a assumed future. All right. I hope this was insightful. This was helpful. If it was, please let me in the comment section. What practice are you going to follow from today and keep it a consistent habit? I would love to hear from you. And also, guys, if you like this video, then hit the like button and also share this video with other people. It would mean so much to me if you share this content because I come with an intention to help you. And if it is helping you, it will be helping other people as well. Thank you so much. Lots of love. And I'll see you another time.